Hey everyone, this is Arlen Sherry, and welcome to episode 309 of the 3 Minute Mantra podcast. This is where we come back to the present moment for just three minutes, sing a Sanskrit mantra, connect with our voice and our body. This week, we're actually going to be humming uh, instead of singing a Sanskrit mantra, but this isn't all about mantra. There's so much more that you can do with your voice, just your voice in general, and you don't even have to say words. And that's why I like to practice humming for people because um, it's a great way to just connect with your body. You can hum anywhere and you don't have to worry about saying words. You really don't have to worry about what you sound like, like the tone of your voice or anything like that. Um, you know, and I think there's some, sometimes opening your mouth and speaking can be scary. And so with humming, you don't even have to do that. So it's a way just to use your voice and connect with your body anytime, anywhere you want. And you can instantly like connect with your heart and just hum a little bit. So I feel like it's a safer way if you do have um, concerns about your voice or your, or speaking or being heard, humming can really um, just help start opening up those things for you. So Today, I have a, a melody. It's kind of like a lullaby that I came up with. And so it might be a little harder, more challenging for you to follow. But again, you don't have the words. So just practice following along and don't wait to like learn <laughs> how to do it <laughs> um, before you sing it. Like sing as you go along, sing with me as you go along and you will learn it faster that way. And with humming and with singing in general, if you've done any kind of singing lessons or anything, you've probably heard teachers say to kind of create space in the back of your mouth, uh, like as if you were yawning, like the start of a yawn. It kind of feels like you have a ball at the back of your mouth. Um, you're trying to just create a nice space back there, kind of behind your nose toward the back of your throat for the sound to like resonate in. And so when you're humming, just try and check in with that space. Like, is it all collapsed? And are you like, hmm, or something? And try lifting that area at the back of your throat to give more resonance. So, I don't know if you can hear any difference in that. I can feel the difference. Like, <laughs> So even with humming, it can just give you more space and with faster moving notes and things, it can help just make it more easier to change notes and easier to find the pitch and things if you're kind of actively creating space at the back of your throat and raising that. It's called the soft palate if you're trying to raise the soft palate. But, you know, that's an extra step. So if you just want to start with humming however you hum, that's totally cool. Just thought I'd mention that too. Um, you can always check to see how much space you have. Um, going on back there and it helps a lot. So today, just the humming, just to focus on your body and focus on these notes and it's a lullaby. So to me, it's fairly soothing, you know, something that you can just sing and I don't know. So anyway, <laughs> just humming, no, no major message today. So here we go. Three minutes. Mm -hmm. 